going to open this first and then go wash my hands. And I'm going to show you guys, this is a sharp one. I'm going to show you guys what's just in the bundle after I go wash my hands. Hi guys. Um, I was quite surprised to find my Stitch Fix came this early. I expected to get my Fashion box before my Stitch Fix box. Um, however, they've reopened the Stitch Fix warehouse in Pennsylvania, which is not about two and a half hours from me. Um, and this was shipped from there, probably why it came so quickly. I know fixes are being delayed because all the postal service stuff is delayed. I was quite surprised this came as quickly as it did. So I should be getting my fashion within the next couple of days and I will be able to compare the two. Here is most of my bundle, two pieces fell out of the bundle. Let me tell you what I asked for in my note. I said, I want an outfit that goes together. I have a lot of clothes that are random and I'm very bad at putting things together, even figuring out what looks good on me. Um, so I said, I just want stuff that goes together. Think spring. I updated my Pinterest board and I suggested building outfits around a colored denim jacket. Now on my Pinterest board, I do have a pink denim jacket. If you watch my videos, you know that I'm not a fan of a pale baby pink, but there are warmer pinks I really like. I like, I don't know what color you'd actually describe it, almost like a golden sand pink. I like that color a lot. I did have a pink denim jacket that looked like it was that color up there, and I think she took that and built some outfits around it. Now, two shirts fell out of my burrito. Here's my burrito, and the other two shirts were loose in the box, so. Oh, if you're not sure what Stitch Fix is, I will have details in the description box below. Click that little down arrow, uh, and you'll see the description as well as a link you can use to get, I'm not sure if they're still running the promo, I'm gonna put the link to get $50 credit toward your first Stitch Fix. If that promo has expired, you will get $25 toward your first Stitch Fix, which is the normal one, if uh, you wanna try it. In the box, there's also an envelope with, wow, this was an expensive fix, with my invoice. And of course, with Stitch Fix, you only pay for what you keep. And my styling cards, they give you um, suggestions on how to style the different items they put in the box. And of course, here's my giant return envelope. Anything I don't want, I send back to them in that envelope. I can hand it to the postman or I can drop it off at the post office if I want a receipt. So anyway, it looks to me like, let's open the bundle, she built the color around the pink of the denim jacket. I'm kind of excited about this fix because when pink works, I like it. When it doesn't work, I don't like it. Now, the first, this is a Calvin Klein dress. I do like Calvin Klein. What do you think of that color? This is a really well-made dress and it's a bit expensive. It's also really thick. It feels almost like a fall or a winter dress. This is really substantial material. It's got a gold zipper in the back and the hemline is longer, which I like. It's not a maxi dress, it's a midi dress. Um, I like skirts to be a little bit below the knee and that looks like that's what it is. There are also a pair of NYDJ uh, these are the Alina leggings. I actually have a pair of these. Alina legging, they're called leggings, but they're really more like straight legs. Uh, these usually fit me pretty well. This is a size 12, which is my current size. Right. And then I have this t-shirt or this mixed material shirt. It's a soft, it feels like a rayon on the back and maybe a polyester on the front. This is a market and spruce top. Again, I'm not sure about that shade of pink, but it is definitely and it's not really going to show up too well on the camera. It is more of that gold sand warm pink than it is a cool pink. Uh, this is a size medium, which on a looser fitting tee, if I can't get a large petite, I need a medium. So that's good. I think my stylist, I haven't read her note yet. I think she really listened. Then there's this one. Oh, I had this one pinned. I think I had it pinned in a different color. It has this neckline that's ruffled this top. It's got a little keyhole in the back. It feels very polyester-y, and I wasn't sure a light color like this would work on me because I tend to need like a medium tone color, but um, I wanted to give this cut a try, and she sent it. And so far, both these things are in a similar color family. 
Then, here's the denim jacket. All the outfits are being built around. Now you'll notice that looks like it works together. That looks like it works together. And that might even work with this. I don't know how a denim jacket would look with that dress. I was kind of hoping for like a t-shirt dress, a more casual dress that I could throw a denim jacket over, but we'll see. Okay, here's the note from my stylist. Let's see who I have. Um, I have Molly. I'm trying to remember if I had Molly before. I might have had Molly once right after Mitch. A Molly anyway. I can't remember, that was a long time ago. Um, but I know the name is familiar. And if your stylist is Molly, let me know in the description box below. I'm sure there's more than one Molly working at Stitch Fix, but um, if you have a Molly, let me know that because it does sound familiar to me. Okay, hi Monica. So happy to be your stylist this time. I hope this fix finds you well. I appreciate all the detailed fit and style feedback you've left in the past. I leave very detailed feedback uh, like, no V-necks. You keep sending me V-necks. I don't like V-necks. I'm one of those, I'm sorry. Um, I made sure to steer clear of those open necklines and thought spring with lighter colors and florals in the prints. I asked for a spring fix. You would ask for an outfit. I didn't have a pair of colored denim I loved, but I took your request in a different direction with a colored denim jacket. You can layer this piece over either a blouse and the denim. I reached for a high rise Oh, I reached for a high-rise jean, as I noticed you prefer that fit-wise. That is true. The dress by Calvin Klein is darling, but a little dressy as is. It is awfully dressy for me. By layering it with the denim jacket, sleeves rolled, you can dress it down with sneakers and a crossbody bag. I welcome your feedback. Enjoy your stylist, Molly. Okay. Well, it is stuff that can all work together, and that's what I asked for. So let's try it on. See you in a minute. Okay. First top. Tell me what you think. This is a size medium. Uh, no problem with gaping in the armholes at all. One thing, um, it is, you can see my the material is very, very thin. I love this pattern. I actually do like the color a lot of this top. You notice how this is wrinkling, almost like a, an acetate? It is polyester. The back is that soft rayon. Um, really thin, and I have these light colored, very light olive capris on. I'm gonna put this on, I think, with the jeans and show you how much shows through this thin material, which is one of two things making me lean toward a return with this. I love the color. The material doesn't feel great. These jeans, I have to turn this down. Uh, these jeans fit pretty well. They have room for my hips. Um, I do have a pair of these. The pair I have, it's labeled exactly the same, but the leg is slightly wider, even though they're called a legging. I got mine, I think, at Nordstrom Rack, and maybe I got one that was off on clearance there. These definitely are more like skinny jeans. They're still not leggings. They have uh, full pockets in the front uh, and in the back, so they're regular jeans pocket. I have them cuffed because, ah, uh, my inseam is about 20, I'm guessing these are about a 30, 31 inch maybe, maybe a 31 inch inseam. I'm about a 29 inch inseam. Um, they're a little bit low in the back for me. Um, I like a rise lower in the front and higher in the back. They definitely feel a little different than the pair I have. I feel like I might keep lifting them up in the back. All right. This is the top I was least excited about. I didn't think I would like this at all. This is a large petite, and what a difference the right size makes. Uh, the armholes are roomy, but there's absolutely no showing of a bra strap or anything. 
Um, it's comfortable. It fits really well. This is a Daniel Rain, so I'm afraid to look at the price. Um, I'm not sure about the color on me. It might be a little too light on me, but the cut is nice. The pleating is nice. I like this little ruffled collar. I didn't really think I would. Um, it does feel very polyester -y, but it's not uncomfortable. It's very, very light. Oh, I almost forgot, because it's sitting right here waiting for me. The denim jacket. Ooh. It's nice and stretchy. It is definitely a size too small. It's a medium. I need a large in jackets. And I did, I thought I had that in my note to have a large in jackets, but I had edited my note and I'm wondering if I inadvertently took that part off because I'm a large petite or a medium in tops and I need a large or a large petite in a jacket. It just is not gonna close. The sleeves, as usual, my problem because my proportions are petite, my arms are short. Most jacket sleeves, regular sleeves, are too long on me, but I can cuff them up. This goes nicely with both tops. I would definitely, if I kept this, I would size up. If I size up, I'm afraid these sleeves are going to be even worse. We'll see. Now, on to the last item. My husband loves this. Mary says the sleeves look dumb. I like a 1940s look, which this has echoes of in the cut. I don't think the sleeves are too poofy. This is a heavy, I would say almost a scuba material this dress is made out of. The length is perfect. See in the back? This is a no for several reasons. One, notice the zipper, how it sticks out in the back. Can you see that? It doesn't fall quite right on me. Again, my proportions are petite, even if my weight is not. And this is a regular 12, so it's just slightly off. One thing I want to show you I like is this is where the seam is for the skirt. The skirt part comes up to here, which is really close. If I bend, right, where you bend is supposed to be your waist. So my natural waist is about here. Okay, that's where I bend. The seam for the dress is just above that, about a half an inch higher. And that to me is perfect. Again, that's that 1940s cut with a higher waist, the poofy shoulders. I love it. I wish my body was in a better shape for a dress like this or I would wear it. Okay, it, by the way, is late at night. Everybody's asleep but me, and the light in here is terrible. I have one overhead lamp, and I just realized I look like a big dark circle through my eyes. It's what I got to work with now that I have time to do this. All right, let's do the wrap-up. I am wearing... This shirt that I love the pattern on the top so much. The neck is, the neck sits nicely. It's not confining me, but it's high enough that I like it at this level. And it's not so wide that it shows my foundational garments. Um, I don't know, what's this color like on me? In this light, it's hard to tell. This is the Market and Spruce Zayit. Z-A-Y-I-T, zip back top. They call it light purple. Maybe it's because there's a bluish purple there. I would not call this purple at all. It is a size medium. It is $54. This part is polyester. The back is rayon. I checked the tag. And I don't think it's a $54 top. I do have quite a bit of credit on this order. I've had this credit since last fall. I just haven't used it on my Stitch Fix and I just got another credit. So thank you for whoever used my referral link. I hope you got the promo with the extra with the $50. I really hope that that worked out for you. If you did use my link, tell me in the description because I would like to thank you. That gave me even a little more credit. So for me, I could get this top for free. My drawbacks, other than the very thin, a little bit wrinkled material in the front is putting me off. And also, this top, this jacket, that if I got, I'd have to size up. It does. I just want to show you, though. I think it, it works with this top, too. Does it? In daylight, it looked fine. I'm not sure how it looks right now with this lovely, horrible light on my ceiling. And this top, also, that I liked much more than I expected. 
They're all made in China. Now, I'm kind of avoiding trying to avoid buying things made in China. You can't avoid it completely. If you think I'm stupid to have that attitude, you can are free to tell me in the comment box. Um, I requested most, I don't mind if clothing is made overseas. Um, I'm a little bit concerned post COVID. I'm not concerned about getting COVID from clothes. Um, it's more how much we have outsourced to China. China does not have good environmental regulations and we can kind of feel in this country like, oh, we're doing good environmentally, but if we're outsourcing all our manufacturing to a country that doesn't have such a record, not as good. I don't know how the workers are treated. Um, there's just, everything's being made in China right now. So I'm kind of wanting to buy things made somewhere else. Um, anyway, that's one of the things making me think twice about these three items. Let me talk about the Daniel Rain top next and give you the price for it. Where's my price sheet? Here it is. All right. The Daniel Rain Brienne Ruffle Detailed Textured Blouse. They say it's in white in a large petite is $64. 64 is pretty typical for Daniel Rain. Um, I think you're paying for the name with that and for the design. And of course, the laborer is worth his wage. The designer made a nice design, so they're worth being paid for it. Uh, I wouldn't call this white, but I guess the background material is kind of an off-white. It's got those pretty um, flowers on it. I like this one too. I liked how it fell. It's very, very thin. Is it worth $64? Hmm, maybe because it's Daniel Rain. Made in China. The jacket, and this is, I should add, I can't remember if I said this in the beginning or not, um, because I had the referral credit, I upped my price points. Now with Stitch Fix, when you sign up, you can set, <coughs> set your price points. You can get Lux items, you can get stuff that's just like regular department store prices, and I had my settings on as cheap as possible but I raised my prices for this fix just to see what I'd get, to see if it was anything different, if it was a higher quality, because I had the credit. Um, so this is an expensive fix. This jacket is the Market and Spruce Camilla Boyfriend, Boyfriend Full Stretch Jacket in, they call it blush, in a size medium. This jacket is $78. I'm not sure this is worth the 78, but it is very stretchy. It looks nicely made. Um, I wouldn't, would you call that blush? Maybe, but it does have some warmth to it. So it's definitely too small, but the option is to size up and get it. Again, made in China. All right, now we have the thing I already own a pair of in a very slightly different form. The NYDJ, that stands for Not Your Daughter's Jeans, Alina Skinny Jean, they're called leggings on the tag here, in indigo, oh, that's why I had trouble with the rise. These are 12 petite. You know, I changed my sizes on my profile, and I changed the pants size to 12 from 12 petite. They're awfully long for petites, aren't they? That's why the rise wasn't fitting me quite right in the back, because I need a regular 12. These are $119, which is a pretty typical NYDJ full price. All right, now, this dress, I like Calvin Klein a lot. This is made in Vietnam. It's a full size 12, and um, I pretty much told you everything I liked about it during the try on, but this is a nice, if you can see how thick the material is, but it doesn't feel real heavy or real hot. It just is that kind of scuba-ish material. It's got that pretty gold zipper on the back, exposed zipper. This is not for me. It is expensive. It is the Calvin Klein Romola dress. They list it as teal green. Okay, teal green, size 12. This is also $119. That's actually not bad for a Calvin Klein dress. Um, Lovely dress, not for me. So really, my main contenders, I would say, I love the color of that jacket. Um, 
I'm not sure if a size up would fit me well because the arms would be so long. And I like the two tops. Um, I've given you my reservations about all of them, about the uh, thinness of the material and the made in China bit, and I don't know. I do think Molly really did her homework because she pulled the sort of things that I would like. This is a little dressy for me, but the styles and everything she picked are very much me. Um, there's so much almost in this box. So I really have to say she did an excellent job choosing the clothes. What will I get? I don't know. So give me your feedback. Um, and I look forward to reading your comments. I will see you when my fashion box comes. It should come within the next couple of days. So I will have a chance to compare both boxes. All right. I'll see you then.